Those double-digit growth rates that we have seen for the past three years in the commercial airline industry are set to end this year. And that's not because leisure travel is slowing down, which it is. It's because the industry is, well, it's finally getting back to normal. Now, globally, the commercial airline industry is set to fully recover this year. That's in terms of both passengers and flight capacity. Some 40 million flights, up from 38.9 uh, million in 2019, are expected to carry a record 4.7 billion people. That's up from 4.5 in 2019. These numbers courtesy of IATA. Now recovery is still varying in, re in regions, um, even by country. If you can pull up this graphic, I can show you that flights uh, in and out of China, the seat's still down about 36%, uh, while Mexico is up about 23%. Uh, but the U.S., UAE, and India, they're supposed to be flying more now than before the pandemic, while Singapore, the U.K., and Australia are expected to be just shy of pre-pandemic numbers uh, by H1 of this year. Now, earnings, these two also on the rise, according to IATA. Uh, the, the association expects global revenues to reach a record-making $964 billion this year. However, costs, well, those are up to about 15% from 2019, which is why even with more planes in the sky, IATA estimates the industry will end the year with a net profit margin of 2.7%, which might sound low, but is expected to be a slight bump from last year. Not everything, though, is, on the, uh, is setting to, to increase, notably airfares. Well, those may soften this year, albeit just slightly. Um, some of the biggest drops, though, expected for flights in and out of Asia, particularly those that link Asia with North America. Uh, flights within Asia, though, expected to go up about 3%. Overall, though, you can expect to pay about the same this year for airfare than you did as you did last year, which definitely won't come as welcome news for people that were hoping once the airline industry got back to normal that those old prices would come back as well. Yes. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.